What's going on everybody? Unreal Hero here again. I want to apologize for the sound of my voice right now. I'm still kind of sick. I feel good, but my throat is sore and my voice does not sound very great. So I want to initially apologize for that. But this video is going to be about layers, effect layers and how they work. So I had a comment a comment coming from AJ Boss 2720 and he wants to know is it possible to make a ripple and a wave at the same time yeah it is possible and it's it's really easy to do if you're attempting or have already attempted to do this and it's not working more likely than not you're having troubles with your effect layers and where they're at on your list so um this video is going to be strictly about effect layers and how they work and we're going to get right into it. If you add the ripple layer first, let's go ahead and add our ripple. So we have our ripple. We're going to select all the keys and we're going to make our ripple color pink. I like to use pink because it's really bright. So we have a pink ripple layer and I'll save it. <clears throat> so now if I touch a key, you got a pink ripple, right? Okay. Now here's the problem. And this is why I think it's an effect layer. If you go and add the wave after it, you see <clears throat> on the left side here, this, the order of the items matters. Okay. Whatever is, on the top of the list it has priority over everything that's underneath it so if you add a wave on top of a ripple you're never going to see that ripple underneath the wave so here's here's all i'll show you so we got a wave i'm going to select the, all of the colors and i'm just going to put on like a multi-pattern wave here and I'll hit save. So now we got our wave going on our keyboard. And because ripple is underneath this wave, when I tap the keyboard, you're not gonna see pink. You're not seeing anything. You're just seeing the wave. <clears throat> now all you have to do, easy fix. Just take that ripple, move it up above the wave. So now the priority order is different. Now when I hit the space bar, oh, I gotta hit save. Now when I hit space bar, boom, there's your pink ripple. So I'm just gonna show you real quick another effect layer that I have that can explain these layers a little bit better. This is the keyboard lighting that I use when I'm gaming. So I have my WASD and accessory keys all backlit with a static green. Um, I colored my Razer logo green. Everything else is a really, really dark gray with some white starlights bouncing around. So <clears throat> what you can see over here, I have four layers. So I'll explain these real quick. This one on the very bottom, this static is my gray. So it's like, I highlighted every key on the keyboard. You can see when I click on this, when I click on this static, even the green keys are, are lit. I highlighted every key and I colored everything a really dark gray like you see on these, on every key, on, on all these other keys right here. Okay, uh, with this one, <clears throat> this is just my Razer logo. So I made my Razer logo a really bright green. Okay, but I wanted this logo to sometimes hit with a white whenever the starlight hit it. Starlight is every key on the keyboard. So I just selected every key on the keyboard, including my Razer logo, and I'm allowing white lights to hit every key, except for these keys up here, because I don't want these um, changing colors. I just want them to be constant for gaming. So. Uh, with this static up above, it's the highest priority, and I put that just on my number keys, Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, F, and with this being the highest priority on the list, 
it overrides everything else that I've put on those keys. So they're never going to change from green. They're just going to stay constant there on green. They'll never change. Real quick, guys, I'm just going to put up a little teaser of what my next lighting video is going to be. I'm going to put that on the screen right now. And just so you guys know, you guys can see a video of what this lighting effect looks like right now on my Instagram. If you go to Unreal Hero underscore, you can see what that looks like. That's going to do it for this video, guys. AJ, I hope this answers your question, man. Um, I hope everybody learned a little bit more about effect layers and how they work and how the priority list kind of can change on you and how to use that priority to create even more interesting effects. As always, you can find me on Twitter at Unreal underscore Hero. You can also find me on Instagram at Unreal Hero underscore. And also I stream on Twitch as well. Unreal Hero underscore. You can find me on there four nights a week. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.